Welcome to another video by Ferris Technology. Today I'm going to launch into an advanced word topic that sometimes you need to do when you're at work especially and you're you're managing a document and you've got multiple editors and you just need to figure out which edits to accept or which not to accept. So you have multiple documents and both have possibly track changes, both might not have that track changes in there. But in any case, Word has the ability to compare documents and in the same kind of style as track changes, allows you to accept or reject edits from either document. So let's go. So if you're sitting on the home tab over here, you just need to slide over uh, to the review tab. And over here, there is a button called compare. Okay. So I'm going to click down here. Now you can also combine documents and I'll cover that in another video later on. But today I want to show you how compare works. And when I, when you compare, you're brought to pieces of a, a dialogue box here. The one says, I want to see what the original documents. And what I did was I went to chat GPT and I said, tell me the story of the three little pigs. And so the original document you see here was the first iteration that chat GPT gave me for the story of the three little pigs. Then I told chat GPT to revise the document based on telling it to a graduate student class. So the revision here is the graduate version. And so now I'm going to treat this as though, you know, I have my original version and I put it out for edits and I told somebody to go ahead and, you know, make it so that I could present it to my graduate class. Now, the options for the compare are under this more and less button. As you look under this button, you see that basically everything is going to be checked. Okay. When you first come in here, you could tell it not to check, for example, headers or footers, or you could tell it not to check the text boxes because you might have call outs in text boxes and various other items. So you might tell it to ignore the white space. Don't worry about that. Um, you can check at the word level, or you can check at a character level. Now character gets a little obnoxious. If somebody spells something different in one, you want to really change the whole word rather than looking at one single character in the, when you're accepting or rejecting the changes. So I prefer not to use the character level. Um, and then we're going to show changes in a new document. Okay. So I'm going to click okay and we'll see it pop up here. And now the layout of the screen is quite busy. First off over on the left hand side, you have the, the revisions. These are the ones that tell you what was revised in the document. Now, so you have this once upon that was deleted. If you look over here, you see the strikeout through the characters here to denote that that has been deleted. The next one is it added in the graduate version, the three little pigs is. So basically it used to read once upon a time, there were three little pigs. But the graduate version says the three little pigs is a classic children's story. So we're going to see those changes reflected over on the left hand side. This, the center screen shows you where all the deletions and additions were made. And if there were corrections to spelling or such, it would also show it in this particular pane. Your original document is over here. Now, the screen is rich with data and information so that you can literally look at your original. You can look at the revision, the center section that shows the, the strikeouts and the additions and all that red text might be a little bit confusing and busy. So having the original document and the revised document sitting there allows you to go take a look and see what was meant by the deletion or addition. So as you go over here, you can click this over here and you can accept or reject the changes. Now, this is similar to the track changes model of, of working with the changes that you would expect if you sent a document out for revision and got that same document back with track changes on. You can accept or reject the changes as you go through the document and inspect what's going on. 
So you can say accept and move to the next. So I'll go ahead and say accept it and move to the next. Okay. So now I have the three little pigs is rather than once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Okay. So I can go ahead then and go here, accept and move to the next. And I can continue working through the document, accepting or rejecting the various elements of the story as it was revised in the graduate version. Because now, you know, I might decide that I don't want a particular edit. Like for example, the bottom says, the story has a happy ending with pigs successfully evading the wolf and living safety in their, safely in their sturdy brick house. Oh, boring. You know, I kind of like the story a little bit better. The three little pigs were safe in their strong house and live happily ever after. The story teaches about hard work and preparation as well as the importance of building strong and durable materials to build a house. So I can decide to go down here and, and reject the addition in this one right here. I can decide to reject that one because I don't like all the extra verbiage so I can go ahead and click this and I'm going to reject that change and I'm going to reject the deletion right above it. Okay. Uh, Cause I want the ending to stay the same. And here you can go back and forth. And after you do all of the other things within the document, like for example, I'm going to go ahead and, and accept all those changes. Okay. And now that I've gone all the way through the document, when I, de when I decide to exit, it allows me to save the compared document as a separate new revision. And that allows me then to take the good from the revision that I like and want to keep. And now I have a revised document that has the best of the original and the best of the revised document as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that uh, if you did, please hit that like button and hope to see you again in my channel later on. Thanks.